Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. In this video, I will talk about the Middle and East European countries. Matter of fact, this video is a call, request, appeal, whichever you feel fit, to the Eastern European nations. For the past several months, years, even those who are not involved in politics, were overwhelmed with different news coming from left and right. And the everyday citizen has no idea what is going on. I am sure most of you are well informed by now what's going on in the European Union, especially in Germany, France, Sweden. Just to mention a few, hundreds of thousands first refugees then migrants invaded these countries, and I am convinced you have seen the results of it. Some of the Eastern European countries were affected as well by the illegal migrants, like Hungary and Serbia and Romania. Thanks to the members of the V4, Hungary, Slovakia, the Czech Republic, and Poland, they managed to avoid the huge influx of the migrants. However, Hungary was affected the most, as you can see on this video. This is another proof if countries, people get and work together, can stand up to the European Union. During the past hundred years or so, most of the Eastern European countries went through many changes especially borders were changed and parallel with this the percentage of the minorities changed in those countries. Here are the seven East European countries I am talking about. Hungary, Serbia, Romania, Ukraine, Slovakia, the Czech Republic and Poland. The percentage of the minorities in these countries changed substantially after the First and Second World War due to the change of borders. These changes had a negative impact on the minority groups, especially Hungarians, and they experienced some retaliation from the part of the national majorities and from the part of their new government. I have to underline here that I am not trying to revive or incite the differences between nationalities, in contrary. Here I am addressing this to the national majorities of the countries I mentioned above. You have to keep in mind that your corrupt politicians incited the hatred, bringing up the border problems the idea of secession, and so on. Yes, there were some serious differences in Yugoslavia at the end of the Second World War or in Romania in 1990, but you have to overcome all this. Once was a Yugoslavia, fell apart, Czechoslovakia became two countries, Germany was unified, the borders were changed, have you learned anything from this? Have you realized that the borders do not matter anymore? Not much. What's important is you, my friend. Are you awake? Can you see what's going on around you? If you don't wake up soon and realize that not the minorities are the problem, but you corrupt government, that you have to stick together, you have to do things together in order to achieve a better free life. If you do not wake up and realize all this, soon you might disappear, my friend, regardless if you are Romanian, Hungarian, Serbian, Ukrainian, Slovakian, or Czech. So, think about it. 